Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. Last time, we obtained the third and final spirit, the spirit of courage, the very last one necessary to help us on our way to finding the ghost ship. This time, we find ourselves back in the village of Molita Island to talk to this beehive lady. It's actually blue as well. Coincidence? Or stealing? My son turned from a life of fisherman and started a strange project. He's just like his dad. It runs in his blood, I guess. Didn't come from me. You're shirking responsibility, lady, because you're gonna hate this. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. I recommend saving very much so at this particular point in time. Hey, kid, when pursuing your dreams, what's the first step? Uh, spending a lot of money at an archery range? I decided to follow my dad's footsteps and go the way of an adventurer. But it seems like on my own first step is to make money for the trip. So on that note, this is the shooting range you can play if you have a bow and arrow. It's 20 rupees per game. 70 seconds to hit targets on the limited arrows. Ghosts are 10 points. Hit them up consecutively for up to 50, points, 50 bonus points. If you hit a girl or if you shoot a girl target, you'll lose 50 points. Be careful. Here we go then. Take your mark. I'm going to warn you. This is a hard one. This is a really hard one. It's very comparable to a certain other infamous archery range throughout the series lineage. There's, you really can't make any mistakes. There's just barely enough time in order to get the high score. And if I can offer you a tip, it's that you want to shoot the targets immediately upon them flipping over. In fact, if you can get good enough to shoot them while they're still flipped away from you, they do still count. They're just really, really hard to hit and missing breaks the streak. But if you can, it adds to the efficiency because only so many of these ghosts can be on screen at a time and you have to destroy the last phase before the new one will start until eventually it gets to the point where any time now, any time, yes, they will not stop. No, no, no. As soon as they start moving and not stopping, as soon as they flip over, I can't do it anymore. I almost did it right there. Almost hit it side. No. Everything went to hell in a handbasket. <laughs> Uh, I'm not being very efficient, but it's okay. The first few rounds are just practice so you can get used to when they're going to come out and be ready to shoot them. I'm also sliding it along the top of the screen so that I can't possibly drift the stylus around too much. 1,300. Scoring that means you still got room for improvement, but here is your prize. Goron Amber. Purple Rupee. Got two and one arrow somehow, and then I lost the po- You stupid girl! How dare you get shot! <laughs> Rudo- Maybe it's not such a good idea to save, because this is good money. I got 50 rupees out of the first game, and then this is what, like 700? Man, screw saving and resetting. These are good things. Maybe I just got bad prizes when I played it before. I was just really bad at the game, so I wasn't getting good treasures. I'm getting proven wrong on quite a few things lately, and some people would get frustrated. I like it. It means I'm learning new things about a game that I very much enjoy, and I think that's always an exciting thing to share. 1470. No correlation in my scores, but another Rudo crown. 1650? Goron Amber. No correlation in the prize value either. We have so much in common. My nose is as big as yours too. Two for one, Grandma. Two for one sale on grandparents. And I wanted them to match, so I didn't pick up a grandpa. Dark Pearl Loop. Pink Coral. I have to now. But uh, he jumps—he <laughs> jumps out of the way with a little whoop sound. <laughs> not what I was expecting. I thought he'd just go right through him. That's nice. This is getting long. I knew it would. Not in a good way either. And if there is a tip I can offer you, play on an Excel system. Due to the larger pixels. You're going to be a lot more accurate with your fire, and there's going to be a lot less variance on where you're tapping on the screen, counting as a touch in a certain area. Thank you. 
1700 on the dot. Would have been 1750 had it not been for her getting shot. Yeah, you knew I could do it. You got a lust for adventure. Ah, your dad said the same thing. Oops, wasn't supposed to say that. Here's the prize. Got the quiver. Now it can hold more arrows. If you score more than 2,000 points, I'll give you something better. This is what caused me to quit my first playthrough of this. I was here for quite a while trying to get the 1700. I just barely did it. And then he wanted that. I was here for five hours trying to get this 2,000 points, and I just couldn't do it. And you know me, as soon as I know that there is a collectible hidden behind something, I have to get it. This killed my first playthrough because I just couldn't play any further. And it sucked though because I like pretty much everything up to this point. There have been a few little weird quirks that I've complained about here and there, like Ciela repeating things that we just heard. And by and large, I like everything up to this point. Even that last visit to Temple of the Ocean King was not that bad. I still stand by it. And yet, this actually killed my interest in it because I just couldn't beat it and I wanted to not move on until I did it. Oh my god, I just insulted all the people like my younger self who are having trouble with this game. I'm so sorry. I, I'm so, it just, it was very cathartic to me. I got very worked up in the moment. I very much sympathize if you're having trouble. I've been there, but oh, I ain't there anymore. Nice work, kid. You're a complete master of the bow! Heart container! And that starts a new row. Eat it. Oh, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. What'd you think of that, huh? You ain't jumping out of the way of these sword slashes anymore. No, you're not. Okay, I feel better now. <laughs> Man. Hey, lady. What'd you think of me, huh? Oh, I'm not trying to stab... I'm not trying to gouge out your ovaries or anything. I was trying to talk to you, I swear. It's an easy mistake to make, though, how you could mistake that for another thing. What do you say? I asked Ramanos if I could uh, pull up all the stone tablet nuisances. He got so upset. He said these are mementos of his father. What a sudden change of heart. He used to say his father was such a failure. Aww, poor kid. Special delivery, watch out, incoming. You'll get no sympathy from me though. This is a letter from Ramanos of Molita Island. Ahem, here's what he says. <laughs> is this gonna be telling us about the archery game? There was a new sign out front, so I thought that was a pretty pretty good visual cue to go check it out, so that's why I did. Come with a new extreme calling. I can't find the right words to explain it in a letter. Next time you have a chance to stop by, you won't regret it. Oh! <laughs> that's a slap in the face to anybody who has trouble. Ooh, bright hull! Man, he just gave us a boat. <laughs> I can't... I can't feel much animosity toward that. That's the end of it. Got all that, sir? Then I'm out of here. What a day. What a day. And you know, we're not done yet. We have, I think, 500 rupees still. And I said I was gonna wait and not spend my money on gems until it was pertinent. So what say you that we pick up our 10th power gem? Oh. Just. Oh, Grandpa! 
<laughs> she really does repeat everything. What are you doing here, Grandpa? I came here to tell you something very important. Ooh, something important? Yes, young one. Now, listen well to what I have to say. Ciela, you are no ordinary fairy. Among fairies, you are special. You are a spirit. A spirit? What are you saying? I mean, I, I don't even have any special powers. There's no way. I understand how you feel. You've lost your memory. The spirit you just freed holds the powers you lost. It's time for you to return to your original form. Please bring me the spirit link. Now, I will begin. How do you feel? I don't feel any different, but at the same time, everything is different. I feel alive. You're back. I've been waiting for this moment. Now you can join powers with us. I don't even know what to do. This is all so sudden. Follow your feelings. Focus with the other spirits. Focus deeply. Link. Help me, Link. I just heard her, Link. I heard a girl pleading for your help. She was calling out to you. That was Tetra. I know it was her. <laughs> Gotta hurry! We have to go! Now! Ciela. That vision you just had. Your ability to sense evil is one of your spirit powers. You have awakened as the spirit of courage. You might not feel all of your true power yet, but someday, no evil will be able to hide from you. Come on, we'll show you the way to the ghost ship. I can feel it out there. Let's go! Aw, oh, his face was so cute. Yes, yes, you should hurry, Link. Head straight for the ghost ship. Old man, who, who are you, really? That I will explain when the time is right. For now, you must hurry to the ghost ship. Fine, keep your secrets, you old sea pickle. I'm just in this for the loot anyway. I just remembered something brilliant! When we were chasing that ghost ship, remember how it vanished into the fog? I'll bet that ghost ship is hiding in the fog! No! Yeah, the fog! Lay a course for the soupiest fog you can find, Link. Uh, I mean, this whole ocean's pretty soupy. I say we go down so uh, oh, I feel strange. I feel something 
creepy. An eerie tingle in my spine. Feel anything weird, Link? Oh, stop right there! Finally found you, Lineback. Oh, no, 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 it's her! Jolene, she's crazy! She's crazier than a rabid squid. Way back when Jolene and I were kids. Ah, forget it, no time for that story. Not when Jolene is gunning for our ship. Always run from Jolene. Set a course anywhere far away from her. She'll shoot torpedoes at us. Make the ship leap over them before they hit. And we're off. She gonna, yes, there we go. Jump right over it. It's a little awkward, but it's a good thing our ship is equipped with these very specific abilities. Oh no, what's happening? The engine's gone dead. Just my dumb luck. Here, look, looks bad, kid. Here comes trouble. Bah! Ambush! Fiend! It's been a hundred years since our paths last crossed. Uh, oh, what? You aren't in line back. A hundred years? You, little boy in green, tell me the whereabouts of line back this instant. Ah, keeping it a secret, are we? Playing Jolene for a fool is an unwise choice. You truly don't want to tell? I see. Well then. You will be punished. I should have learned how to talk. <laughs> Jolene will attack you first. You want to wait and attack after she has locked herself into it. Otherwise, she will block your attacks. Just jump attack towards her whenever she does that. Move to the side, and you should be pretty good. Rub at the very end. Disarm her. Bested by a little boy in green. Lineback, hear my words. Your pet is most skilled. Before I leave, I have but one more thing to say. You. You! Don't you think you've won because of this battle? Hear me! He hid in a box that whole time. Woo! Crouching in one of these every now and then again is great for the back. Uh, consider this a tip of getting rid of that crazy woman, Link. All you it's all yours. I mean, we've gotten worse rewards for helping people. Hey, we're shipping out, Link. Let's put these waters behind us. It was kind of cool getting to see Below Deck, but now on the waters at random times, Jolene might appear and attack us. Now, I had a really big derp when I was trying to figure out what she is based on because she's somewhat of a character that exists as a mystery. I thought, you know, Linebeck is clearly based on Johnny Depp, so I was thinking, oh, did maybe Johnny Depp and Angelina Jolene ever date? And then I found out it was Jolie and not Jolene. Yeah, I thought it was Angelina Jolene. Another example of how I don't pay attention to pop culture. Uh, letter, really? Man, we're just Mr. Popular these days. This is a letter from Jolie. <laughs> that was fast. Ahem, should be juicy. To my baby sister, Joanne. Many years have passed since we've seen each other. Are you well? I'm sure you have endured heartache at the hands of some awful man. Oh, don't worry about me. I'm fine. As you can tell, I'm just as feisty as ever. You're the only sister I have in this world. You should really catch up. But I have to ask, are you, um, you know... Do you still have that weird mermaid costume obsession? I think it's fine to dress up as a mermaid and have a little fun now and then. But don't wind up in some old fisherman's net, okay? Your sis, the she pirate, Jolie. So it says... Or it seems like that wasn't for you after all, Link. Uh, well, chalk it up to fate. Uh, will you do me a favor? Deliver that to Joanne, would you? Good way to prepare for, uh, for... Good way to for people to meet and greet you. Okay, I'm off. You notice that Ciela, after obtaining her powers, turned yellow. And I made sure to show you that in the menu, the menu icon for the Spirit of Courage was actually white before that point. Now it has changed. It is yellow, and the small detail for what is only a few minutes of required gameplay extends even to the file select menu in showing you which fairies you have. I love little details like that and how they thought of it. Now with ten gems. I'm gonna present them. So far you have collected ten power gems. With this many spirit gems, more of your spirit of power's true ability will be unleashed. Come forth, spirit of power. Using the spirit gems this boy has collected, search yourself and reawaken the undying light.
The spirit of power has been powered up. Your sword now burns with flames. Swap spirits on the collection screen. May the divine protection of the spirits be with you everywhere you venture. Ah, so I believe you can now swap between your spirits. But can the other spirits take care of you like I do? I guess you won't know until you try. Open the collection screen and see. Yeah, where would I ever be without you helping me? <laughs> you go in here, equip the spirit that you want to use, and it will change Link's attributes. Here we have a flaming sword, our sword upgrade. It's just kind of tempering itself all the time. This does double damage to all enemies that it hits. Quite a few enemies die in one sword slash, so it's not always helpful, but something tells me that we're gonna have stronger and stronger enemies going forward, and it'll be helpful for that. Now, that's quite a lot, wouldn't you say? We've gotten lots of rewards. We've gotten a lot more powerful. We're doing pretty well. I think we're going to end things off there, and next time on The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass, we track down the ghost ship at last. Ah, Leaf, you want to be a mail carrier someday? I mean, when you get down to it, you'd be delivering yourself because mail is made out of leaves. See you guys then. I got it, I did it in one drive! <laughs>